Welcome to episode 54 of this Let's Play series. My name is Daz Tactic. Welcome to the channel. Hope you've been enjoying the series. It's been fun recording. Uh, now, we've got a bit of a problem where we've got this invasion. We're under siege with this, this group. They're sort of not deep within our fortress, but they've sort of come down into the start of the trap layers. Uh, the, like the, This is the drop trap. And just down below this, a lot of their compatriots are sort of trapped in here now. A lot of dead bodies in here as well from the other other traps where different groups have sort of been trapped in through here. I'm thinking that they may be trying to get back together. If I if I open this gate here, we'll catch most of them anyway in this trap system with these cage traps. And um, it should draw these out as well. So let's just go down to F5. And um, so we're going to release. This is the drop release gate. So let's just go and, and pull this lever, do it now. I will lock the next person in. And they do go in to do this. Come on, guys. There we go. Who's this? Captain of the Guard. Okay, I didn't really want him to do it, but anyway. Lock the door. He's got nothing else to do. There he goes. He's now he's now triggered. I don't know where he was going. He must have been going to pick up one of these. Anyway, he's done it. So we'll now just go up to um, Shift F1 and have a bit of a look. Let's see what's actually going on through here. So just go back up around. This gate will now drop. There it is. And we'll just go and double check what's happening at the top. Here they come. So we'll just go up to F1. It looks like they are going that way. Yeah, here they, they're, they're now making a bit of a move. Yep, they're moving onto the bridge. So I'll just go across F5 again. And drop trigger. Pull the lever, do it now. I'll just go and watch it up the top here. There they go. One didn't quite go. See the you see the last one. Looks like he is. In the meantime, how are the others going? They haven't started running out yet, so they're all congregated in here. Well, they all got together again. That's the important thing. Actually, we won't do that one. It's the drop trigger. Pull the lever, do it again. So we'll just get it back up to where it was. Come on, you've got nothing else to do. There we are. I might let him out now. Actually, no, I won't. Shift F1. Have a bit of a look again and just to see if they're moving at all, which they aren't. No, nope, not yet. That's now back and he's now moving. So F5. Pull the lever, do it now. Shift F1 and... And they're all in. Okay, so we've got all of them now in this little trap. We're still under siege, which is sort of not what we want. Uh, I'm going to ignore that one. Yep, so these are all basically falling to the bottom now. Okay, actually, yeah, they're, they're bleeding as well. well. I'll let them escape and uh, and make their way up to, into this area now. So we'll just sort of get them caged, because we might as well sort of keep a keep a bunch of them. So we'll just watch them as they move move into the fortress. First one down. Next one. Got nowhere to go. Might as well drop in the cages. <laughs> That's all you've got to do. There's quite a few of them, actually. And off they go. Okay, a few of them got freaked out there. I don't know what they got freaked out from. I'll just go back up to um, uh, F5 again and... Just pull that lever, do it now. I don't think any of them are going to get out of here. Make that one passable, make that one passable. And um, Shift F1. Back up. 
still a few of them to come and um, we've got five more cages left to go four what have we got left in here just the three okay this is gonna be a full a full set <laughs> Got a full set of them. Okay, come on, in you come. Out you come, guys. Come on. Another one. Two more to go. Then that's the end of the, it's the end of the siege now, anyway. Wow, we almost we almost ran out of cages. <laughs> They're becoming recruits and things. There's fighting going on outside, which we don't have to worry about. Okay, that's good. We've done very, very well there. Um, now, what are you up to? We've got this now all opened. There literally is just two more cages left with this one in through here. Now, what we could do is um, I could lock him into this bottom area. The siege is over. Um, he'll just then sort of live in this little pit for a little while. So I might just do that. F5 and uh, drop release gate. We'll just um, pull that lever, do it now. And really, there's no reason to have the burrow there anymore. So we'll just restrict the burrow. Now, I was also going to be going and just interviewing with my uh, captain of the guard, um, there's a criminal that came in. A criminal ghoul. I don't know where it is anymore. But I thought I'd just do a quick interrogation. And did we do it? It's down under here. Disappeared, okay. So it's left the fortress. That's all right. Okay. So with the ghoul has the ghoul has disappeared somehow. What are you doing? It's a miner. Storing items. That's okay. Here it is. Here he is. Okay. We got a we got ourselves a um, uh, a theft about to take place. Twenty one years old. Um, description so she isn't tall but is extreme is ex has incredible muscles her hair is extremely long her dark blue eyes are narrow her nose is hooked her ears are somewhat splayed out her head is somewhat narrow her hair is white her skin is burnt umber okay so um doesn't look like burnt umber but anyway <laughs> medium-sized creature prone to great ambition now we've got a um still got more fights going on outside we can ignore those I want to see what actually happens in here. So they have to go this long way. And so Kish is no longer, I don't think, actually one of the others in the fortress at this point in time. Just see if we, if we can see her there. Oh yeah, no, there it is. There it is. Couldn't couldn't actually interview her though in the in the justice system. So um, so we'll definitely sort of do the arrests and everything in here. You don't come in here for for this reason. So she's coming in to steal probably the um, probably the the uh, minkel, uh, which is uh, which one's called? This is the battle axe. I forget what it's actually called in uh, in English, but this is the one that uh, is the um, the one that everyone wants. They're coming down towards it now. Watch what actually happens. No activity. Here it comes. You're being spotted. I'll just reduce the speed of this. This could be fun to watch. Make sure there's no other fighting here, it's all outside. Yeah, what are you going to get up to in here? You're not supposed to be down in here. Went up there. No 
something off Herbalist as well. There's a few witnesses. Didn't seem to take anything. Hmm, interesting. Oh well, that was all a bit of a nothing. <laughs> it is a criminal, probably just scoping it all out. Certainly had a good look at them. Uh, DAFO as well. Okay, what we might do is actually just go into our Justice Department. Espionage against the Stable Rack. This is new. This is a new thing. Okay, witness Kish actually did did, did confess. Okay, so this is I did I did interview her, uh, and we then actually have implicate somebody. What we might do is we might and we'll, let's convict. Okay, this is a visitor. So we'll actually go and put Kish into, into prison. So she has confessed. And, um, and we'll interrogate the other one that's wandering around in here, Dafo. Let's just find out what's going on with these. Interrogate. Yeah, Dafo is not one of ours, so it'll be further down in the list. We've got to do a better job of this. This is very, very difficult to uh, to manage. There we go, Dafo, the, the herbalist. I'm just going to go check the top. The top is still locked up, so um, better go to F5 again and um, drop both of these. Pull the lever, do it now. Pull the lever, do that one now. Now, the other thing I wanted to do was to stop the... Um, stop the goblins from being able to crawl around on those uh, in those areas uh, did we change shift F1 so a bit of a look just make sure that we did actually lock that bottom area off it's a pump operator that's all right yeah that's locked off so we've got one dwarf locked in here there he is Astrog the swords dwarf now eventually we'll We'll let him back out again once we've got the traps reset. Um, everything else is looking good there, so that's all fine. Actually, let's just go back down and watch the arrest. It's another character coming coming around. few bards actually having a look at the uh, treasures up close yeah rodents out the outside we need cages actually we need a lot of cages so how are we going with wood? Wood is still a bit of a problem, I think, for us. If we just go to F3. God, we've got a bit there. I might just make a whole lot of wooden cages. I'll make, say, 20. Uh, we'll just go up to F1 and just start to chop down some of these trees as well. Too close to the um, to the fortress. Make that one passable. Yep, 
that's all working well okay so um, f5 again we'll just watch what happens with these surely surely one of them is coming to take one of these that's defo Didn't feel anything after a lack of troublemaking for too long. <laughs> now, if she's going to try to leave, we might have to stop her. Yeah, she is. I think she is. Let's just follow her around. Yep, definitely trying to leave. Actually, what I'll do is I'll forbid this door here. Oh, no, it's not going to do me any good. This is the door we have to do. He's going to come and arrest her. locked here where the hell is she gone she's hiding somewhere all right well um, the military does need to um, need to get on need to get on top of this one so if we've got the military Bard's coming through this way. Where on earth has it got to? She has completely disappeared. See if she comes back again somehow. Oh, hang on, I've got. I oh, can go further up. Ah, oh, there it is. There it is. Okay, I was thinking, what the hell? <laughs> Come on, somebody's got to go and arrest her. I'm trying desperately to get away. A mad attempt for the criminal. Surely one of the uh, one of the people have got the job of going and getting her. Four giant cages. Kib chain, yeah, there we go. The hammerer is coming, so he's um, follow him around. Have you got Kish in hand? Yes, you do. Good. So off you go to the prison. And uh, so Kish will be there. And prob probably, actually, if the hammer has got her, I'm guessing that there'll be like a, um, a beating given out as well. Now the hammer is not very strong. We did that on purpose. Go. Do we do any beatings? All right. Now how long are you in here for? Um, let's have a quick look and see who we've now got. We've got the um, convicts. Kish. Yeah, fifty hammer strikes for espionage. Um, it won't affect a, a ghoul that much. Yeah, one 
139 days in prison. This actually this hasn't changed, so it must be. I don't know how much longer it's got to go on this particular area, but let's have a bit of a look. There should be somebody. The hammerer should be coming to deal, to deal the um, the punishment. find it. Let's go off to Pennell Pasture something. Plant is in there for no real reason. Well, that was lucky. We sort of picked on the right person to uh, start asking some questions of. Yeah, we'll interrogate Kish again as well. Let's we'll see if that will change their tune while they're while they're sitting in prison. Stop, 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 what are you doing right now? Okay, so F5. Hang on, what was it that got stolen? Mink kill. This is this thing here. Mink kill Vostas on display. It's a copper battle axe. It's got a different name. Now. Is that because the dog actually saw this one? Hmm. Now, Mink Hill, if we have a quick look and see where Mink Hill actually is. She where's that? That's just carrying that one around. This isn't the. This isn't that one. That belongs to that particular dancer. All right. Minkill, the leopard of hustling. Still right there. Did the dog see it? Is where it wants to go to if I sort of Yep, that's the one. It was seen being stolen, but it's been placed straight back there again. Theft of the leopard of hustling. Accuses the miner, Law Saskanith. Only one witness. Okay, and um, it was Binny, Billy Coloured color, color Rhythm. Who is that? No idea who Binny is. Well, it's still there. I think. <laughs> I think the dog must sort of trigger it when, when that's sort of happening because this is law in through here. Now, law has done other things, I think. If we have a quick look at the Justice Department again. Oh, no. No, law hasn't. All right, so we need to interrogate that. And um, we still actually have F2. We've still got the, uh, the door has been closed. Let's just uh, open it back up again. We'll follow law around. Right, so um, we need to do an interrogation to start with. So F5. Uh, put 
put a piece on display that was satisfying. Okay, I think she may have picked it up and then put it back down again. That's interesting. So stole it and then and then returned it straight away. It's nice having this big long area so we can go and capture them. Captain of the guard should be going in to um, to talk with her. Okay, Rosmick is going to yeah, execute criminal. Here we go. Here's the hammerer. this one around this is the fortress executioner a lot of goblins coming in where are you off to the Warhammer from over here. Okay, let's go back to, um, I don't know who the objective that is. It should be to go and question law. Another job to do that that one there. Okay, some of them saw Law admire the object. It's an interview scheduled. But the object is still there. So people have reported it as a crime. Multiple people now. Everything's looking pretty good there. All right, we'll just go back down, and um, I might just follow. I'm thinking. I'm thinking. Laura is not going to be able to get away. Oh, here we go, right back on top again. <laughs> what are you doing? Just obsessed with it, isn't it? Everyone can see you straight through the bars. Now we do want to see what goes on with, um, yeah, so just really just hovering right there. Um, I'll let it go again. Let's just go back to the hammerer and just sort of see what the hammer is up to. Where are we? Where are we? Where are we? Not seeing it there. Yeah, still coming back inside. I'll follow it in. I'm, I'm guessing that Law is going to try to steal the uh, the axe very, very soon. So we'll try to get to the bottom of that particular criminal group as well. 
I'm assuming it's the plot where you have to get rid of of the um, the person. Actually, it might be just be to execute the hammering, the 50 hammer strokes that have to be applied. Here we go. And now there's a lot of, um, yep, so the force bends the elbow. So this is basically, the hammer bashes the human criminal ghoul in the right lower arm with the hammer, you know, bruising the muscle. So basically just smashing away. Um, and so we'll sort of end up finding that the the ghoul ability to grasp is somewhat impaired. Yep, left hand is broken, left hand is bruised. So really now just getting an absolute smashing of, from the hammer. Probably this is an execution, I would guess. Dwarven punishment. Now that was enough. That was enough. So I went out to get the Bithmus Bronze Warhammer, and now I've left this one seriously injured. That's what you get. Billing to stand has been lost. Trouble breathing. Description in through here. So her full damage, her second toe, left foot is broken. Her second toe, uh, her left foot is smashed open. Um, her left foot is torn open. Um, her right arm is bruised. Uh, right upper leg is bruised, right lower, left lower leg is bruised, upper body is bruised. Okay, what else have we got there? Her, her guts is bruised, her lower body is bruised, right hand is bruised, her right shoulder is broken, her right shoulder is bruised, her, her uh, left true ribs are bruised, her right true ribs are mangled beyond recognition, her left lung is broken. So we've sort of, we've like these ones don't have any blood, so they don't actually sort of, these are, are undead essentially. But it's uh, certainly taken a lot of a uh, lot of lot of punishment there, and so it's now seriously injured. If we have a look back at our at what's happened through there, we've got the um, the convicts and no sentence pending anymore. So that's now been that's now been fulfilled. Um, so for espionage, so I'm guessing that that's now going. She's now going to be released and told to never come back. <laughs> Will be sort of what does go on there. So I'm glad we got to sort of see that in action. Um, so that's what actually happened through there. Let's just go back across. Yeah, I think we've already looked at this one. Yeah. So law is right there. Um, now surely our our captain of the guard has got to be coming in now to do something about this. This is just too valuable to not be doing anything. Who's the captain of the guard? To there. It's only a peasant. All right. Um, just watch what happens in here. A few goblin dancers and bards. Should not be down in here. It does like being near this uh, display furniture. stolen yet it's just a matter of time come on how, how's our um, captain of the guard now still going across where are you interrogate Kish again. So he's got a list of different things he has to go and do. So we'll go down and talk with Kish. Now Kish is in a cage. So he's now going to find out more information. So more interrogations. Um, he's now going to go and prepare an easy meal for himself. If we go back and have another look at the information that we've now gleaned from this. I've gone over time. Um, 
the Kish is this is unsolved. Ros, uh, Rosmic also accuses the miner as well. It didn't take. Yeah, we'll better um, we better interview that that one there. Make a quick biscuit. Just grab a second ingredient. So a quarry bush biscuit by the looks of things. Now you're going to go and interview Come on, hurry up, hurry up Still doing nothing. There we go. Oh, you're going back to prepare another one. Look, what I might do is I might pause until we uh, go back and f just find out what's actually happening with. Um, oh, it's gone. It's gone. It's gone. It's gone. Here we go. Yep. <laughs> All right. So now we've got the. Um, now we lock the doors. We didn't get the message from the dog. But we know exactly who to take it. So we've now got this one going as well. I think I might leave this episode here because we're now going to have a bit of intri intrigue for the next one as well. Now we've got a goblin dancer coming through. They're both trapped in this area. That, that people are coming in to have a look at things. All right. All right. All right. So um, that's good sort of good if you just go back down and have another look at the um, at the prisons or up at the prisons the hammer is there now Kish should be taken away and I think just left in a cage now I think it's just if we look at the others just see if we can find where Kish actually is yeah, caged. Being taken back, taken in by the hammerer and left in amongst the criminals. Yep, there we are. Never to be let out again. <laughs> okay, there we go. So that was the uh, that was the criminal uh, mastermind Kish, who is the undead ghoul, who uh, 21 years old, and she has uh, been uh, taken into custody and uh, locked away for conspiring against espionage against the stable rack we we cannot have didn't didn't implicate anyone so we can't let you off uh says unsolved actually this one is another actually no this is the the witnesses kish but the one that we did solve the closed cases we do actually now have this one here kish confessed and if we have a look at the intelligence for this one just to finish this one off i think we can then sort of look at the at the two different things in through here so um so a captain of the guard met with the, su with the subject, misrepresented facts surrounding the case in order to elicit information. Subject had a trusting nature and agreed. Subject revealed that Kish uh, Crude Listens herself is in fact a, an assumed identity. True, uh, the subject's true name is, is Copnut Lurecrests. Subjects had used uh, Ither Tessinch in, as an alias in the past. There we go. So uh, subject revealed that in the late winter of 250, subject plotted to infiltrate the stable rack in order to steal treasures and prepare a coup under the influence of an unidentified creature. So that will mean that we've got like different plots. So we've got the um, got steel match chilled. Um, yeah, infiltrate the, sta the stable rack. So this is one that we, if we go back to the organisations. Um, it's not that one. Yep, Copnut Loon Crests. 
is the is the member there and then we've got an unidentified boss so we've got the thief which is Vabok so Vabok then met with Copnut and Copnut then is under the guise of some other master criminal there we are okay that's cool that's cool okay so that's all happening it's an interesting game isn't it it's just interesting the the uh how intricate it all gets well i think that we'll leave it there and then we'll come back next time for the um to finish off against the well i guess uh, down and through here we've now got the criminal uh law trying to get away but there is this other character who is nako and why were they down there as well i, got, I think i've got to almost target anyone who walks through this long way then sort of try to go and figure out what's going on. Anyway, guys, I'm going to leave it there. So thanks for watching, and I'll catch you in the next episode.